The penis is an external genital organ that's very useful for male systems, reproductive and urinary. The penis is divided into three parts, the root body glands, the roots not seen externally, the internal portion it spans. Within the pelvic floor, superficial perineal pouch, it's fixed. It is surrounded by muscles with erectile tissues betwixt erectile tissues, crura, and the bulb are in muscle ensnared. By ischio cavernosus and bulbospongiosus pair. The bulbospongiosus muscles with the bulb associate contract to leave urethra spongy tissue in an emptied state, and these muscles contract during orgasm and ejaculation great. The ischio cavernosus associates with the crura, contracts to force blood from the crura's cavernous spaces, voila. This blood goes into the corpora cavernosa, where it adds some rigidity to an erection so that the members stand. The penis body is suspended from the pubic symphysis, and there are three columns of erectile tissue in the penis. You'll find extending distally from the hidden roots to crura are two erectile columns called the corpora cavernosa. Meanwhile, extending from the bulb is the corpus spongiosum, which contains the urethra through which urine or semen can come. The corpus spongiosum fills with less blood during erection, so the urethra is not occluded once the action's begun. No, the glands is the corpus spongiosum's distal expansion. With the external urethral orifice through which fluids run Erectile tissue has fascia covering the dartos fascia The penis portion is the penis's superficial fascia The scrotum portion, the dartos proper, is continuous with Cole's fascia the dartos fascia is also continuous with scarpa's fascia. Deeper you'll find the deep fascia of the penis or buck's fascia. Buck's fascia holds the three erectile tissues together tight and it continues from the deep perineal fascia, all right. Beneath the deep fascia, the tunica albuginia confines each of the cavernous bodies and it is fused at the midline. Two ligaments support the root, the suspensory ligament, and encircling the penis there is the fundiform ligament. Penis skin is more pigmented than the rest of the body skin. There's a double layer of skin and fascia called the foreskin. It connects to the gland surface by the frenula may skin. Fold the foreskin to a variable extent over the glands takes hold. The space between the foreskin and the glands is the prepucial sac. Let's move on penis neurovascular supply we shall unpack. It's supplied by the bulbo-urethral deep dorsal artery. These vessels all branch from the internal pudendal artery, which in its turn arises from the internal iliac artery. A deep dorsal vein drains into the prostatic venous plexus. Superficial dorsal veins drain skin and cutaneous tissues. The somatic innervation results from the pudendal nerve, and that nerve comes from S2 to S4 spinal segments. Understand? The pudendal nerve goes on as the dorsal nerve of the penis. Sensory sympathetic innervation to skin and glands penis. The pudendal nerve also supplies two muscles of the penis, the ischio cavernosus and the bulbospongiosus. Cavernous nerves arise from the pelvic plexus deeper inside and know that parasympathetic innervation they provide. This innervation causes vascular changes to occur, so blood flow increases and an erection comes out to say hello. Cavernous nerves supply corpus cavernosum and urethra. And they form a network around the erectile tissue, hurrah! And now that you've learned all about the penis's anatomy, I'd very much appreciate it if you'd all subscribe to me. That would help us to make more videos and give them to the world for free.